prior to the election, I was part of a team that was put together by uh, EIZ to go around the country and then train female aspirants who are interested uh, to contest in the district assembly election. And also, it is not that women are not really interested in contesting for the election, but there were many cases that yeah. we encountered where women who contested in the previous elections and want to stand again for re-election were given ultimatums mm -hmm. by either their husband or by the family of the husband or by you know other people mm -hmm. in the community to stand down otherwise they will not support them especially ultimatums from husbands who all of a sudden saw their wives being thrown to the public light right. and being called honorable, honorable, honorable. <laughs> I mean, and for, for many of the women, I mean, the husbands felt as if now the women had taken away their shine, had okay. taken away their leadership role right. in the house. And you right. talk, we talk about right. culture. Yeah. Culturally, you know, people expect that if you enter a house, the man should be the man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. the and demonstrate that he is the man, the man yeah. having more resources mm -hmm. even than the woman. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so for the males who saw their wives now becoming, you know, now assembly women, yeah. honorable, honorable, and now some of them having more resources than the, than, uh, the males, they felt uncomfortable. Yeah. And so that contributed to many of the females, actually as parents, dropping out even from the race.